I promise you, because I will not be the president that will continue the journey of taking our country into debt. Tutakuwa tunatafuta madeni kutoka China na maalingine ambayo sasa inatuletea kisirani. A few moments later. Habari za jioni mtazamaji wangu mahali popote ulipo niombi na matumaini yangu kwamba ubweri wa afya na Mwenyezi Mungu anaendelea kukulinda. Karibu nikufahamishe mambo ya ajabu ambayo yanaendelea kutokea katika taifa letu tukufu la Kenya katika utawala wake bwana William Samoi Harap Ruto. Mtazamaji kama unakumbuka vizuri William Samoi Ruto wakati wa campaign alikuwa anasema kwamba hata waendelea kuchukua loan kwa sababu serikali ya Uhuru Kenyatta ilikuwa imechukua loan nyingi tena zaidi na wakatumia hiyo loan kufanya mambo ambayo hayana faida kwa mkenya. Kwa hivyo alikuwa anasema kwamba yeye atatumia ushuru ama atatumia ushuru kufanya maendeleo ya Kenya pamoja na mambo mengine lakini atachukua loan tena zaidi. Unaona mtazamaji? Sasa basi kutoka uh, mwaka mmoja ambao William Samoi Ruto amekuwa kwa ofisi amechukua loan nyingi zaidi kuliko wakati ama mwaka mmoja wa uhuru kenyata kwa ofisi. Habari nyingine ambayo imetokea siku hii ya leo ambayo nataka tuizungumzie siku hii ya leo kama vile unaona hapo kwa screen IMF IMF approves an additional 142.8 billion loan for Kenya. Mtazamaji unaona ule 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 mruto ambaye alisema kwamba wakati wa kambeni alisema kwamba yeye atachukua loan ama atatumia loan atatumia ushuru leo hii tena si mara ya kwanza ni mara ya amechukua loan nyingi na sasa wamemkubalia tena kuchukua 147.8 billion uniambie William Samoi tuto kama akitoka kwa kiti hata acha ame loan ya Kenya itakuwa imeenda times 2 ile ambayo uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa ameacha. Hmm? Ruto alikuwa mstari wa mbele kusema kwamba yeye atakisha kwamba atachukua loan kuendeleza taifa la Kenya, atatumia ushuru. Na badala ya hiyo William Ruto sasa amefanya zote mbili, anachukua loan alafu pia anaongezea tax wa Kenya. Kwa hivyo anayukula pesa ya loan lakini pia anakula pesa ambayo anaongezea wa Kenya tax. Kwa hivyo amezifanya zote mbili. Kwa sababu yeye alikuwa anasema kwamba tunataka kufuata nyao zake mwai kibaki kwa sababu mwai kibaki yeye hakuwa anachukua loan sana, alikuwa anatumia ushuru, alikuwa anatumia uh, njia ya kuongeza ushuru ama njia ya kuongeza taxes lakini hakuwa anachukua loan sana. Sasa yeye akasema kwamba anataka kutumia hiyo njia. Sasa sijui alikuwa anamaanisha nini kwa sababu um, sasa hivi anaongeza ushuru lakini pia anachukua loan. Tena anachukua loan kubwa kubwa. Si loan ambayo ni kidogo tu. Na wazungumzie hilo. Na ujazungumzie ile ambayo amechukua China, ujazungumzie ile ambayo amechukua sehemu tofauti tofauti. Uniambie kabla ya mwaka 2027 Kenya itakuwa imewekwa wapi? Ndio nimekwambia asubuhi kwa video ambayo nilifanya kwamba mtu William Ruto atakuja kuiacha Kenya mahali ambapo itakuwa imeninginia hivi. Mtu ambaye atapata uh, kiti cha urais mwaka wa 2027 atakuwa na kibarua kigumu sana kwa kurudisha Kenya mahali ambapo uhuru Kenyatta aliyachia. Kwa sababu Ruto atakuwa ameyapeleka mahali pabaya kabisa. Unajua mtazamaji afadhali uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa anachukua loan lakini alichukua loan akafanya mambo ambayo yanaonekana. Alichukua loan akatengeneza HDR, alichukua loan akatengeneza expressway, alichukua loan akatengeneza mambo mengi ambayo yanaonekana, project mingi ambazo zimeonekana. Sasa William Samoi Ruto ako na mwaka mmoja na nusu kwa ofisi, amechukua loan nyingi na hakuna kitu hata mmoja anaweza simama akasema kwamba hii nimefanya na ile pesa nimechukua loan. Sasa so, unaweza ukashindwa hiyo pesa ya loan inachukuliwa ikiingia kwa mifuko ya Wakenya ama inachukuliwa ikienda wapi? Hata nimeona baadhi ya wakenya wame comment wanasema kwamba sawa hiyo loan itaingia tu kwa mifuko ya watu. Kwa sababu si imekuwa iki wile mtoto si mara ya kwanza kuchukua loan. Amekuwa akichukua loan lakini hatuoni maendeleo ambayo yanaendelea. In fact afadhali wakati wa uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa anachukua loan lakini tunaona mambo ambayo alikuwa anayafanya. Karibu tuangalie kwa undani mtazamaji hii story lakini inakuomba kama ni mara yako ya kwanza kututazama chukua sekondi yako moja ama mbili ujiunge na familia ya Jitan Daily Politics kwa kuweza kusubscribe na kutano notification ili tukiachia video huo kwanza kuipokea lakini pia kama wewe ni returning subscriber ama kama tayari umesha subscribe chukua sekondi yako moja ama mbili uweze ku hii video na uweze kuishare 
ili wa Kenya waone vile William Samoe Ruto anaendelea kuiharibu taifa la Kenya kwa kuchukua loan bila kufanya a project yoyote ama bila kufanya maendeleo yoyote. Ana wanachukua loan wanaweka kwa mfuko bila kufanya kazi yoyote. Lakini pia unaweza ukatuambia maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section na ukitoachia maoni yako unaweza ukatuambia unatazama kutoka kaunti gani kama uko hapa Kenya. Lakini pia kama uko nje ya Kenya unaweza ukatuambia unatutazama kutoka nchi gani. Mtazamaji kama kuna moja kati ya watu ambao hawa hauwezi ukawaamini duniani mmoja wao ni William Samoe Ruto kwa sababu William Ruto anaweza akakwambia kitu kumbe hata ni kama akili yako haiko hapo lakini ama sijui nimeshindwa kumuelewa William Samoe Ruto kiukweli mimi binafsi nimeshindwa kumuelewa William Samoe Ruto in fact hata uliona Julius Malema wakati alikuwa hapa nchini Kenya alisema kwamba William Samoe Ruto ni mtu ambaye hawezi eleweka kwa sababu anaweza sema hivi leo kesho aseme hivi vile kesho hata amesahau vile amesema leo ana anasema mambo mengine ambayo yanatofautiana na yale ambayo amesema ame jana. So William Samoe Ruto ni mtu ambaye wakati wa kampeni alikuwa anajigamba sana akisema kwamba mimi sitatumia loan kama William uh, kama Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta amechukua loan ameacha ame uh, Kenya ikiwa imesingi kabisa. Uh. Sasa unasha, unaweza ukashangaa kama Uhuru Kenyatta aliacha Kenya ikiwa imesingi na William Samoe Ruto sasa hivi ndiyo anaendelea kuchukua loan na hata bila kufanya project hata moja. Uniambie kabla ya mwaka 2027 Kenya itakuwa imesingi wapi sasa? Unajua Uhuru Kenyatta first term yake ndiyo alianzisha SGR immediately after kuingia kwa ofisi alianzisha SGR. Na kazi ikaanza. Hiyo loan hata kama kuna pesa nyingine ilipotea, tunajua kwamba tulipata SGR. Lakini sasa wewe unachukua na hakuna kitu tunaona ukifanya. Okay, kama vile unaona hapo kwa screen, kama vile unaona hapo kwa screen mtazamaji, IMF and Funds Kenya additional 142.8 billion loan. Unaona mtazamaji? The International Monetary Fund IMF and the government on on Tuesday uh, stuck a deal that will see the Britain Woods Institution funnel an additional 142.8 billion Kenya shillings that is 938 million US dollars loan to Kenya and IMF mission led by its chief to Kenya I'm I'm not Tefera te was in the country from October 30th to November 15 and met president Ruto at his state house on Monday fast forward to now The financial institution stated that the loan is subjected to IMF's management approval and consideration by the executive board which is expected to be completed in January 2024. According to the deal, Kenya will re- will have immediate access to 103.8 billion Kenya shillings that is 682.3 million US dollars According to the IMF once the entire amount is dispersed it will put the entire amount and funds to Kenya to 408.16 billion that is 2.68 billion US dollars Tefera said that said the said the facility will help Kenya uh, navigate the current tough economic times the amount will also be instrumental in helping Kenya service its eurobond loan so umeona mtazamaji wangu William Samoe Ruto tayari uh, na nilikwambia kwamba <laughs> juzi wakati uliona Monday wakati uliona uh, uyu uh, bwana chief uh, chairman wa ama si chama huyu wakati uliona huyu um, chief ambaye anajulikana kama ama wakati uliona huyu uh, tefara akiwa na William Samoe Ruto state house nilikwambia kwamba hapo mambo imechemka nilikwambia kwamba hapo ni loan loading kwambia kwamba hapo ujue kwamba lazima kuna loan ambayo inaendelea kutengenezwa na itakuja hivi karibuni na siku tatu baadaye ndio hiyo sasa unaona loan imeweza kuwa approved na tayari kuweza kupeanwa sasa. Hmm? Ule ule William Samoe Ruto sasa hivi hawezi kuzungumzia hiyo. 
vile ulikuwa unasikia na zungumza wakati wa kampeni eti sijui sisi hatutaki ku na mambo ya loan sisi tunataka kutumia akili sisi tunataka kutumia ushuru sisi tunataka kutumia tax hatutaki kuchukua loan tena Awezi kumsikia siku hizi akizungumzia mambo kama hayo amenyamaza kabisa aezi akajaribu kuguzia hapo kwa sababu anajua kwamba wakenya watazungumza na tayari nimeona katika mitandao ya Twitter katika mtandao wa X ama Twitter hizo video za William Samoei Ruto akizungumza kuhusu kwa kusema kwamba hata wewe kuchukua loan si na trend. Hebu sikiliza kidogo vile William Ruto alikuwa anasema kabla hata hatujaendelea. Fanya biashara. Tukihakikisha ya kwamba hapa chini watu wengi tumewapatia uwezo wa kufanya biashara hawa wananchi watalipa ushuru. Kweli ama si kweli? Tukiweka pesa ya serikali kwa mwananchi ama kwa biashara ya mwananchi mdogo ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunazalisha uchumi hapa chini. Na tukizalisha uchumi hapa chini hawa wananchi tutaanza kufukuza umaskini hapa chini. Na tutaanza kuzalisha uchumi hawa wananchi na biashara zao watalipa ushuru. Na wale wamepata kazi watalipa ushuru. Na sisi kama serikali tutakuwa na pesa ya kuendesha serikali. Hatutakuwa tunatafuta madeni kutoka China na mahali ingine ambayo sasa inatuletea kisirani. Nyenye mnanielewa jameni? I have instructed the Ministry of Finance to work with all the other ministries so that we can shave off 300 billion shillings from this budget of this year. It's not a simple assignment. It's not an easy thing to do, but I promise you we will do it. Because it's the right thing to do. We will have to delay some of the projects we have. We will have to uh, postpone uh, some of them. Um, we will have to relook at some of the interventions i have seen uh, reports that we have slowed down on um, trips abroad and many of the other things and and make sure that we are removing the fat from our budget i promise you because i will not be the president that will continue the journey of taking our country into debt. It's going to be a difficult choice, but I don't see an option. We just have to make those choices. So, and we are going to rationalize the budget and be able to look at what else we can do even next year. So mtazamaji huyo ni rais wako William Samoi Harap Ruto wakati alikuwa anatafuta kiti cha urais alikuwa anadanganya wakenya ili waweze kumchagua lakini baada ya kumchagua sasa ndio unaona mambo kama hayo ambayo yanayotokea kwamba ameendelea kuchukua loan bila uoga wowote na hata azungumzi chochote tena hmm. ulisikia jana ile odinga akisema kwamba William Samoi sio mambo ambayo alikuwa anazungumza wakati wa kampeni sasa hivi uwezi umsikia akizungumza mambo kama hayo eti sasa hivi usikie alikuwa akisema kwamba mambo ya bottom up eti mambo ya sijui uh, asla eti usikie Ruto akisema kwamba pesa mfukoni haizi akazungumza mambo kama hayo sasa hivi hata bio fasi ambazo alikuwa na quote wakati wa campaign sasa hivi uwezi ukamsikia kizi quote hmm. kwa sababu anajua alikuwa anawadanganya wa Kenya lakini uzuri ni kwamba William Samoei Ruto aliwapea wa Kenya uh, ama William Samoei Ruto aliwa yani aliwafungua macho wa Kenya sasa Kuanzia sasa kuendelea mbele hakuna mkenya atakuwa mjinga tena. Hakuna mkenya ambaye atamwamini mtu ambaye anamwambia kwamba nitakupea nyie hivi, hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi kabla hajafanya. Itakuwa ni vigumu sana kwa mkenya kuweza kukumwelewa. Nadhani kwamba William Samoei Ruto kwa njia moja ama nyingine amesaidia kwa sababu amefungua wakenya wote macho. Sasa wakenya wengi watakuwa wanaangalia mtu tu. Wewe unataka kududanganya kama Ruto vile alidudanganya auwezi ukadudanganya tena. Kwa hivyo uh, wakenya hao watakuwa wajinga tena. Sitani kama mwaka 2023 kuna uongo William Samoei Ruto atapea wakenya wamsikilize. Sitani. Na kama kuna uongo ambao William Ruto atapea wakenya 
Uh, ah kama kuna wa Kenya watakuwa wajinga kusikiliza William Ruto akidanganya tena 2027 sidhani kwa sababu tukiendelea hivi uh, William Samoe Ruto akijaribu tena kupata mkura 2027 sijui hata Kenya itabaki uh, kama ka, Kenya itakuwa declared, declared bankrupt kama sijui ni Ghana ama ni kuna nchi hapa Afrika ambayo ilikuwa declared bankrupt sijui ni nchi gani sijui ni sijui ni nchi gani sijui ni nchi gani hiyo nitakwambia uh, nikijua kuna nchi ambayo ilikuwa declared bankrupt hapa Afrika na Kenya inaelekea hapo hata si maajabu kabla ya mwaka 2027 tusemekane pia sisi hatuna chochote kila kitu kimeingia kwa mifuko ya wanaume. Hmm. Anyway, hebu niachie maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section kuhusu uh, serikali ya William Samoe Ruto kuendelea kuchukua loan, loan ambayo wanachukua na hawafanyi kazi yoyote. Wanachukua loan lakini tunasikia tu kumenyamaza. Hakuna project, hakuna maendeleo tunaona loan inachukuliwa ya kufanya kazi gani. Hebu tuachie maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section lakini pia usisahau kusubscribe hapa kwa habari zaidi. Kwa sasa, bye bye.